Hello, hello, Zildjian here with a brand new series. So yeah, this game is City Skyline. So you might have noticed, you know, usually I would start off with like the, um, the beginning screen, the intro screen, but I just wanted um, to just go straight into it because this game uh, it takes quite a bit to load. So I didn't want to have to deal with all that. All that. And also the only way I could uh, record this is using the display capture basically yeah I mean it's yeah it would have been like a whole bunch of time of just loading the game so basically I chose if you couldn't tell by the name I chose the Grand River map so oh my god why is this road like that it's already uneven okay um, which side do I want to build on first because there's a highway connection on both sides um, I don't know. They both look okay. You know, I just the the game started me over here, so I'm just gonna actually let me see the other side. This looks a little bit prettier, <laughs> so I'm gonna go here. <laughs> aesthetics, yo, gotta have the aesthetics. Cause this game, it's not like really hard. I mean, you just keep on building, and you'll um you'll just keep on building and your city keeps on growing but the main thing is uh figuring out how to manage the traffic because later on there's gonna be so much traffic so right now i don't want to build my city right over here at the entrance i want to have it like start like in the middle over here so it can uh yeah because i've i've watched quite a bit of uh, tutorial videos like such as imperial jedi obviously that's just you know just theory you know, it's just a theory, a game theory, but that's not this channel. <laughs> What's all that all about? Okay, oh, there's a problem because over here it's like one space and more, and over here it's, yeah, it's gonna end up being too close. So I think I'll just curve it a little bit if I can. No? I guess not. God damn it. Both sides, there's problems with both sides. Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, I can do it like that. There. Problem solved. It's, it's not the best curve, but okay. So yeah. um, Because I'm going to have to connect over there So later on. So yeah. So I'm just going to do 10 units by 10 units. Try doing my first roundabout. Nothing too complicated. Oh. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, it's gonna line up over here. So yeah, uh, if if you didn't notice, this game is currently on sale on Steam until the end of the week. I mean, not the end of the week. Until November first. I don't know. That's like probably like a, like a week or two from now. So yeah, it says a midweek madness sale. So I guess it's the Halloween sale. Um, and okay, I want to have. Be oh, it and it's probably because it, because uh, the industries DLC just been released. You know, I right now I'm running with zero DLCs because uh, I just want to play the game as vanilla at first, and then f try to like look up research properly which DLCs I want to get because they're all on sale right now except for the newest ones. Um, one, two, again, I want to be like somewhere in the middle so that way I can like build. Here's probably fine, right? Yeah, and then I'll have I don't want to build too, f I don't want to spend too much at the beginning. One, two, three, right? The first one is going to be empty, so up to four here. And right now it's going to be a little bit symmetrical. One, two, three, four. I'm counting the units of ten, by the way. And if you can't tell, this game is uh, most. It's based on Europe because of the currency, and also it's yeah. the The buildings are like based on European stuff. Well, it depends on the map, actually. Apparently, okay. Now I'm gonna have some small roads. I like I said, I don't want to build in this first area because it's too close over there. I think, so I'm just gonna build on the first node. One, 
uh, one, two, three. So that's approximately, you know, 30 squares or more or less. It's probably going to be less though. I don't want to spend too much money on building a fancy interchange. Uh, what I'm going to do is, okay, let's see. The river is flowing this direction. So I want my water pumping station to the left here. That way it doesn't, you know, pick up pollution. And then the, this thing, the drain pipe, which produces the pollution will be on the right. So all the pollution will be flowing down that way. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that was a waste. Okay, so I can go ahead and do it like this. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. And I want to build it and over there because that's going to be some industrial zoning. So right now, I, what I want to do is build a wind turbine like somewhere over here that way it connects with the power grid over there and also I'm gonna have some buildings over here some uh, initial residential I'm gonna go ahead and then pause now so hopefully this residential zone in and let's see if I need the power lines or not and I'm gonna set up like uh, corner stores this is like I know like you're supposed to like segregate your uh, industry and commercial and stuff like they have like a huge shopping block and stuff like that. I just want to have right now it's just like the beginning. I I can always reset. Um, oh my god why am I doing that? <laughs> That's fine. I mean I can always build more right? That's fine. And also, this is a fertile area, so I can turn it into farmland later on if I if so please. Right now, I'm just going for a super gritty thing because that's like just more min-maxing kind of deal. Yeah, so you don't want to create too many intersections, but also you want some intersections because um, otherwise you'll have trouble. With, like if you have like ambulance over here. And you have like, you have like, ta like your road going all the way over there or some crazy thing. Like you have to make a huge U-turn over here. You could just stop by over here, you know, and get to this house or whatever. Like, yeah. Like after you, you went to this house, you just make a quick U-turn over here. I mean, right turn. Like it's not a U-turn. Yeah, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Like if the road is super long with no intersections, like it, it makes the trips really long and inefficient. But also if you have too many intersections, you know, they have to stop and there's lights, traffic lights and stuff, which I believe you can turn off. Yes. I have to disable, I, mean, I have to unselect everything here and then bam, you can disable the traffic lights for maximum traffic flow. But I think you want to leave the high traffic volume ones on otherwise they're they're never going to yield okay so what i want to do is i'll put some industry on this side so i can easily have the power lines running down here oh god that's <laughs> not what i meant to do okay i'll just have some power lines over here and i'll have to set up some water um Oh, right. I don't want to build anything on here, do I? No, it's fine. I don't, I don't want to go too crazy about like being efficient and stuff at the beginning because this is just the beginning. I don't want to get too freaky. I mean, not freaky. Like, I don't want to get too obsessed with trying to build a perfect city. Because practice makes perfect, yo. I mean, like, look at my RimWorld colonies. I've been playing that game for like years now and I'm still making crappy colonies. Oh my god. Okay. And you don't want to spend all your money at once because you you might need like power and stuff. And I just forgot one quick tip. You would produce way too much water at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the water pollution, water uh, budget here. I don't know if you can see, there's like, that's the poop water. Eventually, this whole thing will be dirty and disgusting. 
Any people coming in yet? You can always check. Just click on this main road here. See all these the purples, the private vehicles, they're coming. Oh yeah, so uh, since, oh my God, why? I have plenty of sewage. What is going on here? Why is the sewage backing up? I have plenty of electricity, plenty of sewage. Is this not working or something? I don't understand. Maybe because I adjusted the budget and it kind of messed things up. Oh yeah, so this is part of the new update from the new DLC release. You can click historical building and basically when it levels up, it's never going to change. So if there's like a story or house that you're particularly in love with, you can do that. I mean, it's nice to look at this stuff. Um, let's see, do I have any more demand? So I should probably zone in some more stuff and then while we're waiting, for that to zone in we can have a nice look at this we got some industry here let's look at our factories here we got an ice cube factory goods unlimited I mean yeah these are these are just randomly the names are all random you can make it yourself but like if you customize it and then it'll just change anyway so there's no point but now you have the historical building so you can yeah the so when you when you name it and stuff, I think it'll, it will not change. But if you demolish it or something, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, I probably <laughs> forgot. I forgot to mention what mods I'm using. I'm using a few mods. I don't want to use too many mods. You know, I don't want to, because I don't want to get overwhelmed right away. Try to do the base. Uh... Oh my God. I don't want to have, you know, too many options and stuff like So yeah, I, right now I just have the automatic emptying and uh, uh, the automatic emptying, which automatically empties the landfills into incinerators, grave cemeteries into graveyards, and then the auto auto demolish abandoned and auto demolish burned buildings. Yeah, because if because yeah, if you don't do it, like it decreases the land value and stuff. So yeah, they just. So the game will do it automatically and also the mod that enables achievements when using mods because as soon as you in say, uh, enable a single mod, it'll uh, disable, oh my god, what happened there? It'll disable the ability to get achievements. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in, zone in the rest of this here. I'm going to demolish that over there. So yeah, here's demolish burn and demolish abandoned. Yeah, so I I did I did test out the game a little bit. When what happens when you have the automatic demolish abandon? Like if there's something wrong, like if you zone in too much stuff at once, and you have a bunch of abandoned worker, like not enough workers and stuff, it'll just end up resulting in like your city just getting destroyed. <laughs> not destroyed, like because like all this abandoned buildings just disappear, and you're like, oh my god, what happened? Like normally you have this massive industry area. And then bam, it's all gone because they were all abandoned. Yeah. So yeah, did I did do a little practice run before this one, and also um, watch like I said, watch tons of videos. So I like I would like to say I have some idea of what I'm doing. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's let's take a look, take a gander. What is this? Quiet corner shop. Okay, um, I guess, yeah, we're breaking even here. Just gonna check the water, check the power supply. So yeah, the wind turbine is actually the most efficient at the beginning because it's only 10, 10, it's not dollars, is that pounds? I don't know what symbol that is. It's definitely not America. It's definitely not cents. But I'm just gonna call it dollar. So that's that's like ten dollars a watt, and this is like twelve dollars a watt or something. You know, five hundred sixty for forty watt megawatts. This is eighty for eight megawatts. You know, so it would be four hundred dollars a week for forty megawatts. You know, so yeah, this one upkeep wise is cheaper, but the cost it's more. You know. 19,000 for 40 watts. This one would be to get 40 watts times five, you get you get 30,000, so yeah. But in the long run, the long run wind turbine is cheaper, but I guess in the short run, short term, you can have the coal power plant. 
Yeah. But it provide I mean it provides provides pollution. It produces pollution. That's that's the thing. Oh yeah, I also dis not disabled, but I have it like normally when normally the game will automatically open this, so I do not have that. Yeah. And um I think I disabled the nighttime because it's really annoying when it's night, like you can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's been day this whole time, so I'm pretty sure I disabled the nighttime. Because af after one of the DLCs, after dark, they introduced the nighttime to this game. And, yeah, it's actually optional. You can go into the menus and disable it. So, I don't know. If you like it, you can go ahead and keep it in. And, oh, it looks like we ran out of residential zoning here. So, I can go ahead and build some more. And it's also it's also good not to like it's really tempting to like zone in like every single area, but you're gonna end up with having massive um, traffic problems here. Oh boy, I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough power to be connected. But yay, we're in the positives. We're in the green. So later on, I'm gonna extend this to the, across the river. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna have to move this later on. When I get more money and stuff, and I'm extending this to cross the river, but first I wanna build up this side of the river and maybe convert this to farmland because it's fertile. I don't know if I wanna convert it all because like, yeah, because there's like a delicate uh, balance of imports and exports. You, I can't click it on now, but yeah. Basically, this game is, it, like when it comes to the management it can be really complicated if you're trying to do things perfectly i mean i guess same thing with any other kind of game like this i mean it's not like like banished or depraved where you'll run out of food and your everyone will die and stuff but people will die but yeah so yeah if you ever played SimCity, like like yeah this is way definitely way better like there's like so much new features and graphics and stuff like yeah like you ever played those old Sim City games? Like this would be the size of the city. This is just one tile. You there's you can unlock nine in total later on, so it's gonna be huge and massive, and also it's gonna like destroy your computer. <laughs> so yeah. So some people actually download mods to like unlock the entire map, but that's the oh god damn it. Oh my god. Okay, it's I can fix this. Damn it. I just. <laughs> I did not, I guess that's what happens when you're distracted talking and stuff. But yeah, I did not intend for that to happen. So yeah. So I got these little corner shops here. I mean, the idea is like, you know, you, you got to have some convenience store, some delis. Oh, we got the little hamlet. We reached the first milestone already in the first episode. Nice. We got a clinic, elementary school. Wait, what the hell? Why is there two elementary schools? Medical clinic. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, because, um, yeah, it's based, like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, like, it depends on what kind of map you're playing. It'll affect how these buildings look like. Wait, what? I can build both of them? That's interesting. Oh, I think, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's definitely cool. You can build both of them. That's awesome. That's a so weird. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I didn't really get that far <laughs> in the practice city. Just testing, you know, building the ropes and stuff like that. Figuring out the layouts. Um, okay, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and check out. Oh, I can raise the taxes. Right, right. I definitely. That's one of the things. From what I've watched the videos, you can have up to 12%. So yeah, this is the the um the. This is the European style, and this one is the I guess non-European style. I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, we're running out of power here. 
So we're going to go ahead and create another power plant. And there's some need for some more industrial. And I just realized I should. I mean, it'd be convenient to have some commercial here, but I guess I'll just leave this all industry. There is a problem with having segregated blocks. I mean, it, it's going to cause tremendous traffic leaving this area later on. But okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this series. Be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. 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 Oops. <laughs>